dear students now i'm starting with the second chapter of physics in 11th standard it's called units and measurements first you have to know what is a physical quantity anything that can be measured is a physical quantity example mass mass can be measured for example the mass the mass of the box is 20 kilograms the mass of a book is 1 kilogram so mass can be measured similarly the length of your classroom let us say it is 7 meters that means length can also be measured so anything that can be measured is a physical quantity we have various examples of physical quantities just now i gave you two mass length you can measure time you can measure temperature you can measure speed you can measure force etc you have a large number of physical quantities okay now to measure a physical quantity we require a standard reference for example to measure mass you require a reference you cannot say that the mass of the table is 50 or the mass of the car is 2000 you have to you require a unit to measure it the standard reference used to measure a physical quantity is called its unit the standard reference used to measure a physical quantity is called the unit of the physical quantity so what is the unit it is the standard reference used to measure a physical quantity and giving physical quantity as pq okay so this this is the standard reference used to measure a physical quantity long back there were various systems three different systems of measuring systems of units used to measure physical quantities the first one was called fps f p s because at that time the physical quantities commonly used were length mass and time length was measured in foot mass in pounds time in seconds so this system in which length was measured in foot mass was measured in pound time in second were followed by the british the british and the colonies of the british including india used to follow fps system in fps length was measured in foot mass in pounds time in seconds french and their colonies used to measure length in centimeter mass in grams and time in seconds so what is this centimeter gram and second this was followed by french the rest of the world used to measure length in meters mass in kilograms time in seconds this is called the mks system it's called mks system 
so so in the british were following fps french cgs rest of the world were following mks in mks length was measured in meter mass in kilograms time in seconds these three physical quantities length mass and time were the fundamental physical quantities because all other physical quantities were derived from these physical quantities mass length and time for example speed was measured it is distance traveled upon time that is length upon time volume volume was length into breadth into height that is vol- length cube they were so these terms were these physical quantities were called fundamental quantities so fundamental physical quantities later on one more fundamental physical quantity which could not be derived from these three physical quantities was discovered that was electric current so electric current was a fundamental quantity and its unit was ampere so we had one more new system of units meter kilogram second ampere mksa system ampere for electric current so how many different systems do we have right now we had earlier 1 2 3 4 now different as different countries were following different systems of units it was difficult for transaction between countries because one country may export a produce in pounds and other is importing it in kilograms conversion and transactions were difficult so representatives from all countries met together to decide upon a common system of units so that the entire world will follow that system that system was called si system international system international in si length was measured in meter mass was measured in kilogram time in second electric current in ampere then what is the difference between si and mksa yes at the time of si was started three more fundamental physical quantities were discovered or added one was so what we do we, what were the fundamental physical quantities here length mass time electric current now three more one is thermodynamic temperature its unit kelvin was added then amount of matter a quantity of matter its si unit was mole and luminous intensity its si unit was candela so what is this thermodynamic temperature quantity of matter and luminous intensity luminous intensity gives the measure of illumination you have one electric bulb lit up in a room it gives it illuminates the room by a certain amount if you have two or three more number of electric bulbs with higher voltages lighting up a room the illumination increases so to compare this illumination we have a unit called candela so in si 
how many different fundamental quantities do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 fundamental quantities are there in SI system international now what are they length length is measured in meter its symbol is small m kilogram for mass its symbol is small k small g time symbol is small s ampere electric currents unit the symbol of ampere is capital A the symbol of thermodynamic temperature uh, Kelvin the unit of thermodynamic temperature is capital K and that of mole is small m o l and that of candela is c d these symbols are very important the, the, the way to represent the symbol of meter small m that of kilogram small k small g small s capital a capital k small m o l small c d these symbols are to be followed properly. 